Let's graph the linear equation y equals 5x. So we'll do it two ways. First, we'll put values in for x here, and then we'll find the corresponding values for y. Then we can graph those points to get the linear equation y equals 5x. And then we'll look at slope-intercept formula just to make sure we have the right answer. So let's start by putting for x here. Let's put 0 in. That's a good place to start. If x is 0, 5 times 0, that's just 0. What about 1? If x was 1, 5 times 1 would give us 5. And if x was negative 1, 5 times negative 1, that's negative 5. So these are the points that we'll graph for the equation y equals 5x. So we go to 0, 0. Here's x is 0. It's also y is 0. So that's our first point. x is 1, y is 5. So x is 1, and then we go up 5 to right here. And finally, x is negative 1 and y is negative 5. So on the x-axis, we go over and down 5. And we could just draw a line through this, put arrows on the end to show it goes into infinity, and that's the graph for the equation y equals 5x. So let's use the slope-intercept formula just to make sure we have the right graph. So we have y equals mx plus b. m's the slope, b, that's the y-intercept, except we don't have a y-intercept. We have a slope here but not a y-intercept. So we're just going to say plus 0, because that won't change anything in our equation. So now we have b, the y-intercept, that's where on the y-axis the line's going to go through the y-axis, is 0. So let's go down and find 0 right there. That's our y-intercept. Now for the slope, we have a slope of 5, but it's helpful to think of the slope as 5 over 1, because then we can call it rise over run. So we go up 5 and over 1 rise over run. So up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, over 1, rise over run. We could do the same here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and over 1, rise over run. And we can go the opposite direction, down 5 and over 1. Do it again, down 5 and over 1. So this is the graph for y equals 5x. We did this first part correctly. This is Dr. B graphing the linear equation y equals 5x. Thanks for watching.